Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerd video series on linked list interview question series and this is question number 13. And the question is really very interesting. Find the factorial of a big number. So we know like if you have to find factorial of 5, then it is like 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And we know that we have a very beautiful recursive approach in order to solve the factorial problem. But this problem becomes a very big problem when <laughs> this number is a very big number. Like if it is 100, then that factorial is like very big. You cannot store that in any data type. Like long long will not work. Unsigned long long will also not work. So you run out of data type to store that number. Because if I'm asking you 100 factorial, then you have to start like 100 multiplied by 99, multiplied by 98, multiplied by 97 and so and so forth. And then this number is going to be a huge number. You cannot store that into long, long or unsigned long, long. Okay. No data type to store this number. And you need some data type, right? To do this multiplication, but you don't have one. So we have to go back to the school days and see how we used to do this multiplication. Let's suppose you want to do multiply um, uh, 24 with 6. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah, this is the number you want to multiply. How would you do this? 6 Forza 24. We have 4 here and carry is 2. Okay. So you multiplied this with this. Notice this you are multiplying only single digit. Here the problem is you have to multiply this whole number with this and then the result of this is going to get multiplied by this number and then result of these three is going to get multiplied by these this number so that it becomes really huge but here no matter how big number is maybe two five eight six nine if you multiply that number with nine how you start you multiply nine with nine this is the maximum number you can multiply Okay, so single digit multiplication happens. So there is no problem in the data type here. Why? Because we can store these numbers in a different different linked list node. I mean, you can use array also, but then you don't know how long that would be. So you have to use vector in that case. Uh, some people won't be happy with the space. I don't know why they would cry for the space because you're not going to have a very huge factorial. I mean, you can then you go for linked list. So the point is you can go for linked list and vector both. I mean the array, but here we'll see the linked list one. So yeah, so we were talking about this 24, right? I multiplied this six with four answer is 24, 24's four is here and two is carry, right? So how do you go next? You multiply this six with two. What is the answer? 12 carry was two. So 12 plus two is 14. You will write 14 here. That's it. So what if this whole thing was looking something like this? You have 24, right? So you have this node two and then another node four. Okay. And then you are multiplying them with six. Can we do this? Yes, we can do this. And this is what you have to do. You always have to keep a single digit here. I mean, you can keep till zero to nine. If it is becoming 10, then you have to store one here and zero here. So let's quickly see with a good example now. So this is your basic example. We'll take this example and try to solve the problem. So let's assume we have a first node will be there always because if you're asking for five factorial or six factorial or any factorial, this one will always be there. If it is one's factorial, it is like one into one. So this one is there. If it is two's factorial, then two into one. So this one is there. If it is three's factorial, then it is like three into two into one. So this one is there. So always this one is there, right? That's why we'll keep this one and this is going to be your null. And this is your data part and this is your previous part. Now this is very important. You have to make this guy as previous. Okay. Because let's suppose I told you, right? 24. If you want to store this 24 into a linked list, you have to say like uh, two and four, and then you will say previous which will actually point here. So basically you have to start with this and then you have to keep creating the previous nodes. Okay. And then keep creating the previous node. This is how we'll do. So let's see the example now. So as this one is already there, what you have to do, you have to multiply two to five, right? So how would you do this? I mean, you have to run a loop, right? From 
वन टू 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 थ्री टू फोर टू फाइव ना वन इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो योर आई योर आई वुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टू एंड विल गो टिल हियर राइट टिल एन वॉट एवर द एन इज टिल फाइव सो योर आई इज गोइंग टू बी टू आई इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री आई इज गोइंग टू बी फोर एंड फाइव दैट्स इट यू कैन हैव दीज मैनी मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो दिस हाउ विल स्टार्ट यू वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई टू विथ वन लेस डू दैट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन एंसर इज टू यू कैन स्टोर दैट टू हियर फाइन दिस इज डन थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू बिकॉज दिस इज वॉट यू हैव सो थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू यू हैव सिक्स यू स्टोर दिस सिक्स हियर ओके एंड देन दिस इज डन यू गो फॉर फोर सो फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी यू हैव फोर इन टू सिक्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग I told you when you have two numbers, then you cannot keep two numbers in a single node. So you have to split it. How do you split? You will put this four here and two somewhere here. Let me just draw that and I'll give you the intuition behind that. Like this, two is there, four is there. Now this guy will actually point to this guy. Four's previous is two. Okay, and now this two's previous is null. And how do you do this? So if you have twenty four, so twenty four's modulo division ten will give you what four. So this four you have to place here and carry. How would you get it? Like twenty four divide by ten, you'll get the carry, which is two. So this two will go here. Simple, right? So now this is your position. So this four is done. Now let's do this with five. So five multiplied by how much? This is really very interesting. Now, just careful. Here you have four now because you always have to start multiplying from here, and then you will eventually go to the previous nodes. So five multiplied by four is twenty. Now let's do that. You will make this zero, and two will come here, right? Remember that two is coming as carry, and now you have to multiply five with. Two because this two is there. I mean this one to multiply by with five. Okay, so five multiplied by two answer is ten, and then this ten is like added with two. So actual answer is after adding this carry, what we received from the previous operation is twelve. Now you see that I have two digit. Now you have to break this. You have to place two here and one here. and now this guy will actually point to this one okay i mean sorry not this actually to this node and this is going to be your null cool right now see you have multiplied by 5 and you are done in the loop and see what is the number in the linked list 1 20 so basically it is 120 okay and this can never have any overflow because you are always storing one digit in a single node and you can have millions and trillions of nodes depending on what is your the capacity of your supercomputer <laughs> okay so we see that 5 factorial is basically 120 and we know that we can achieve the similar multiplication using linked list with the traditional approach of multiplication correct so now let's quickly see the code so see this is your driver function we have main here we are looking for the factorial for 20 we created this initial node i told you right we have to create initial node for 1 correct so then we'll go for loop from 2 onwards right so this one is always there in factorial so that tail one we created and then i is equal to 2 to n we'll just keep incrementing the i and we'll send this i to get multiplied by the rest of the linked list so this tail is also going to this multiply function and then we have this multiply function here it is very simple guys initially we will have this carry is equal to 0 and we'll use two pointers stamp and the previous nodes both will be initialized with the original tail in the beginning and we always have to initialize them with tail because we are always starting multiplication from the tail okay you remember that we were always multiplying this node first and then this node this node this node like this will keep on going in the left hand side and next time if some another number let's suppose i is equal to 6 is coming then you have to multiply this 6 with whatever is this with this number and then this number and this number if it is required so you always move in this direction right so you always have to initialize this tail 
and you have to iterate over this tail till this tail or temp doesn't become null and we'll just keep saying that temp is equal to temps previous so we'll keep on going like this okay let's see what we do here so it is very simple whatever this number is see first it was having one then it was having two then six right so whatever this number is we'll just simply multiply that with our i so we are doing that here and just adding this carry so this full number is formed let's suppose this i is 4 so here we get a good example here okay answer was 24 so data becomes 24 so i told you right 4 will only go to this place and 2 will go to the previous place see we are doing the same thing data which is 24 model division 10 will actually bring this 4 out of it and put that into the data place temps data place which is this place okay this guy and carry portion very simple divide that 24 with 10 will get the carry and initialize yourself i mean temp to the previous node so that we can know what was the previous node because now we have to go to this node okay now temps temp is going to be temps previous which is this guy right but remember initially it was null so temp is actually becoming null now so this loop will break because we have taken this example okay 24 so there was no this node here initially it was just one node right so temp is now null and then this loop will break will come here and remember 2 was carry 4 is with this I'll, I'll take this here 4 is here 2 is carry still we have to place this 2 right so that comes this second loop if carry is not equal to 0 meaning we have carry we have to place that in the, into the previous nodes then what we'll do we'll tell I know when I broke this previous while loop my last node where I was standing was stored in this previous node now I can tell previous node equal to node new meaning I can create a new node at this location with carry modulo 10 why because your carry can be 2 GD number so here also you will have the same operation if it is 2 digit number then store this last one into this and you have to update this carry by dividing that with 10 so that you will have a carry now and previous node previous is going to be new previous so now basically you are going to point to this guy because your previous node was still pointing to this right now you have to go previous nodes previous which is actually this guy so you are now pointing to this guy okay you have previous node this one and then you will see carry is there no carry is not there because remember we had only two carry so two was actually inserted this into this because two modular division 10 answer was two so we inserted that to here and then we are done and then this while loop will break if it is not breaking meaning you still have a carry because from here whatever this carry was generated this carry was two digit number okay then only this will reloop so this whole thing <laughs> was just for i is equal to four okay i i told you right we are taking this example then you have to do the same thing for five same thing for six so here we are not looking for a time complexity and and that stuff because we know that okay this is going to take this much time what we are looking for is like i want to have a factorial of this hundred which is not possible for c and c plus plus at least because in java we have a big integer but that also a costly process and that takes actually more time than this whole thing okay this is what the solution is so i think we are done here thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos